Hey, so happy Friday. We're um, we're sitting here again, having some conversation. I um, figured I'd bring the coffee to you, even though some of us are going back out. Um, I figured I'd help the social distancing and the limited uh, and the limited uh, occupancy, if you will, by staying home. I'll add a star to that. Uh, that wink at some point. Uh, no, I won't. Uh, but anyway, today's quote, we have, um, we must be willing to let go of the life we planned so as to have the life that is waiting for us. Quote by John Campbell. Uh, <laughs> this one, uh, this one is, it really resonates with me because I feel like uh, it kind of goes into the same conversation that we had before, you know, with... Um, being open to the possibilities and uh, and the um, the willingness to be imperfect or or uh, or to experience failure. So this one is, is like I, I use again a comic book analogy of a maybe a Superman type deal where you know there's some sort of explosion that uh, Superman can contain for a limited amount of time. So, you know, this explosion, for whatever reason, Superman was, you know, he was a little slower than he needed to be today. And the explosion happened, and he had the ability to hold it in his hand, so to speak, for a limited amount of time. Enough time for all the innocent bystanders to get away, right? And he can sit there and hold that, contain that explosion for a, a, long, a long time, whatever that is. But at some point, you have to let the explosion take place because he's not powerful enough to uh, <laughs> he's not powerful enough to, you know, stop it from exploding. He has to let it happen, you know, and it's going to damage some buildings. It might damage, you know, his, his surroundings again. But again, everybody got away. You know, all the innocent bystanders got away. Uh, but um I think that's kind of like a, a metaphor for life, you know, in, in different instances when there is a meta, uh, metaphorical uh, explosion taking place, sometimes we um, don't allow life to happen. You know, um, I don't want to get too into the weeds as far as like finding an, ex an example, but you have a good example right in the noggin right now. I know you do. And it's something that you have not and have have ref refused to a degree to um to accept and or deal with and if you accept and or deal with that issue it might not first of all it might not be as big as you believed it to be but also it will allow that brain space that percentage of your brain that's focused on that uh that issue it can uh, it can relax and um, you can be more focused on the areas where you need to be focused. I feel like a lot of times we get offended by people when they're not focused on the things that we're focused on. Like, you know, whether it be um, having a conversation, hanging out with somebody and they're always checking their phone, always checking their phone. A lot of times we we look at that like, oh, my God, like this person is is, uh, you know, not at all interested in what I'm talking about. You know, whereas there are things going on in their lives where they can't truly disconnect, you know, and, um, you know, it's not necessarily any offense needed or uh, or even directed, you know, but you have to be willing to uh, to understand that. And, um, you know, so that is the, the perfect example of not having your full focus in areas where you want to. And that's veered a lot from from the quote, but the quote is in essence saying that. I mean, like if we dive deeper, because I feel like all these like one, two sentence quotes lack some context. So I'm here to add the context. And um, so if you allow the explosion to happen, allow uh, life to happen, address the, the issue in your life, you can better focus on the areas that require your attention and you can be pleasantly surprised at this new potential that you didn't even know existed 
because you were almost limiting yourself based on wanting too much control of outcomes. So that's me, man. That's uh, that's what I'm thinking today. Hey, shout out to uh, to a few people. Uh, I was able to hit my my minimum goal for uh, for that fundraiser. I will put the link in the description uh, so that we can continue that trek because I am a part of a group uh, as well that is looking to uh, raise additional dollars. So I appreciate you all for uh, sharing, commenting, uh, all that good stuff with these videos. Uh, some folks have reached out to me and let me know that uh, you know they uh, found value. Uh, so that's pretty cool because uh, I wasn't really anticipating that. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. If if there are any topics. That would help me greatly. If there are any topics that people want me to talk about, that would be fantastic. But in the meantime, I will at minimum talk about some of these quotes that I share every, every now and again. Or some of these thought bubbles that pop out of my head on a daily basis. Uh, we are at six minutes, just above six minutes. So I will save you the um, additional time of being unproductive with the things that you have to do today. And we will talk later. Have a good day. Enjoy your uh, your weekend, your Friday, uh, if that even means anything to you these days. But uh, we're out, man. Where's the... Yeah, there we go.